On the night of March 13th through 14th, Skywatchers across North and South America will be treated to a spectacular celestial event, a total lunar eclipse, commonly known as a blood moon. During this phenomenon, the moon will pass through Earth's shadow, resulting in a mesmerizing red hue that has captivated observers for centuries. This particular eclipse is notable not only for its vivid coloration, but also for its duration, with totality lasting approximately 65 minutes. The last time North America saw a total lunar eclipse was on November 8, 2022, which was the longest one visible from most of the continent since 1989. A total lunar eclipse is one of the most breathtaking celestial events visible to the naked eye. Unlike a solar eclipse, which requires special glasses, anyone with a clear sky can witness a lunar eclipse without any protective gear. This event occurs when the Earth moves directly between the Sun and the Moon, casting its shadow on the lunar surface. But why does the Moon turn red? What exactly happens on the Moon during this event? Let's explore these questions and more. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for regular space updates. A total lunar eclipse happens when the moon passes completely into the Earth's umbra, the darkest part of its shadow. Since the moon orbits the Earth and the Earth orbits the sun, their positions occasionally align in such a way that the Earth blocks direct sunlight from reaching the moon. This alignment occurs only during a full moon when the sun, Earth, and moon are in a straight line. Lunar eclipses don't happen every full moon because the moon's orbit is slightly tilted relative to Earth's orbit around the sun. This means that most of the time, the moon either passes slightly above or below the Earth's shadow. However, when the alignment is just right, a total lunar eclipse occurs. Unlike a solar eclipse, which can only be seen from a specific part of the world, a lunar eclipse is visible from anywhere on Earth, where the moon is above the horizon at the time. This makes it much easier to witness. One of the most fascinating aspects of a total lunar eclipse is the deep red or coppery color the moon takes on, often called a blood moon. This phenomenon occurs due to a process known as Rayleigh scattering and atmospheric refraction. When sunlight passes through Earth's atmosphere, shorter, bluer wavelengths are scattered in all directions, just like during sunrise and sunset. However, the longer wavelengths, mainly red and orange, are bent by Earth's atmosphere and refracted into the umbra. This filtered light then illuminates the moon, giving it a reddish hue. The exact shade of red varies depending on the amount of dust, pollution, or volcanic ash in the Earth's atmosphere at the time. If there are many particles in the air, the moon can appear dark red or even brown. If the atmosphere is clear, the moon might appear bright orange. If you were standing on the moon during a total lunar eclipse, you would witness an incredible sight. Instead of seeing a dark sky, you would observe a deep red Earth surrounded by a glowing ring of orange and red light. This is all the sunrises and sunsets happening at once on Earth, projected around its edges. The entire event would unfold over several hours, with the sun slowly disappearing behind the Earth and then emerging again. Since the Earth is blocking direct sunlight, the temperature on the lunar surface would drop dramatically. Without an atmosphere to retain heat, the moon's surface can quickly go from extremely hot over 220 degrees Fahrenheit in direct sunlight to bitterly cold, negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit or lower in the shadow. This drastic shift can create tiny cracks on the lunar surface as rocks expand and contract due to temperature changes. According to GMT, the upcoming lunar eclipse will occur on March 14th, the Pi Day. The penumbral eclipse will begin at 3.57 a.m. GMT on March 14th or 11.57 p.m. EDT on March 13th. Earth's penumbra is the outer part of the shadow. During this phase, the moon enters Earth's penumbra, 
causing a subtle dimming that is often difficult to notice with the naked eye. The partial eclipse will begin at 1.09 a.m. EDT, when the moon starts moving into Earth's darker inner shadow, the umbra. At this stage, it will appear as if a bite is being taken out of the lunar disk, with the shadowed region looking significantly darker. The most dramatic phase, totality, begins at 2.26 a.m. EDT or 6.26 a.m. GMT. At this moment, the entire moon is engulfed in Earth's umbra, glowing in an eerie copper-red hue due to sunlight refracted through Earth's atmosphere. This breathtaking spectacle will last for an impressive 65 minutes until 3.31 a.m. EDT. Using binoculars or a telescope will enhance the view. And for those interested in photographing the event, a camera on a tripod with long exposures of several seconds is recommended. As the moon begins to emerge from the umbra, the red hue fades and the bite effect appears on the opposite side. The partial eclipse will conclude at 4.47 a.m. EDT, leaving the moon fully within Earth's penumbra shadow once again. However, just like at the beginning, this dimming is subtle. Finally, the eclipse will end entirely at 6 a.m. EDT, 10 a.m. GMT, bringing this spectacular celestial show to a close. Besides the eclipse, you can also see two bright planets with the naked eye. Look towards the west and you will see Jupiter and Mars. Jupiter will set about a couple of hours after local midnight when the moon plunges into Earth's umbra. Mars, in Gemini, will set a couple of hours after Jupiter. Viewers in South America can also glimpse a few meteors during totality as the Gamma Norbid meteor shower reaches its peak activity. It's a weak annual shower that can produce up to six meteors per hour. An eclipse never comes alone. It is always followed by another eclipse two weeks later. Following the March 14th total lunar eclipse, a partial solar eclipse will occur on March 29th. During this event, the moon will cover up to 93% of the sun at its peak. The eclipse will last nearly four hours, starting at 4.51 a.m. EDT, and will be visible from parts of the Americas, Western Russia, Europe, and Africa. For those on the other side of the world who missed the March 14th lunar eclipse, there's another spectacular opportunity later in the year. The third eclipse of 2025 will once again be a total lunar eclipse, occurring on September 7th. This event will be visible from Asia, Russia, parts of Africa, Oceania, and Europe, offering a stunning celestial display. The eclipse will begin at 4.27 p.m. GMT and last approximately three and a half hours. Notably, this eclipse occurs just days after the moon reaches perigee, its closest point to Earth, causing it to appear slightly larger in the night sky. The totality phase will last an impressive 1 hour and 22 minutes, longer than the March blood moon. If you miss the first eclipse, this one promises to be an even more mesmerizing sight. So happy sky gazing! And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all the exciting space events and celestial wonders coming your way. Also, if you haven't seen it yet, make sure to watch this video. It covers the five most incredible things that will light up the sky in the coming months. You won't want to miss these breathtaking sights.